So for me personally, the original Phenibit was my go-to anti-anxiety relief. Some people have a lot of issues with Phenibit, some people really like it. It was one of the best things that I had found for my anxiety. Personally, I would not use it all the time. I ran out of my original Phenibit, decided to get some F Phenibit, was on that for about a year or so, I actually ran out of my F Phenibit, and now I'm jumping back into the original Phenibit from Cosmic Nootropics. Is it all that? Do I like F a bit more? Find out right now. Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here. Today I want to do a little re-review on Finibit from Cosmic Nootropics. Now, Cosmic Nootropics is a pretty interesting website. All the stuff that they send you is written in Russian. Thankfully, they put the Finibit in this box that signifies that it actually is Phenibit because if you just had to read that, you would have no idea what it is. So I have reviewed Phenibit like once or twice. I've reviewed F Phenibit once or twice as well. And it was kind of ironic. I tried Phenibit for like two, three years. It was my go-to for anti-anxiety. I don't take it very often. Sometimes I would go a month or two without taking it. But every time that I had legitimate anxiety, it helped me so, so much. I don't know if it's gonna work for you, but it always helped me. So I ran out of that. I ended up picking up F Finibit. I had a good deal on it from another website. I was like, oh, I'll try it out. I kind of would prefer the original because the F Finibit has a fluorine atom and I just personally don't like that, but ended up trying it, ended up liking it a lot. It was kind of a more drowsy version of the original Finibit. I just ran out of my F a bit. And as soon as I run out of it, I get some of the original Finibit. So I really, really want to try them back to back to kind of get a more pinned down opinion about which one is better for which situation. But unfortunately, I ran out of F a bit, so maybe I'll try to order some before I run out of this so I can kind of do another comparison. So Phenibit is an anti-anxiety drug in Russia. I think maybe Australia too. It's a very simple compound. If you take the compound GABA, which is completely legal, you can buy it right now in the United States. GABA is kind of like a neurotransmitter that I think like turns off some of the other ones or it kind of like turns down the excitement of all the other neurotransmitters. So it kind of just relaxes you, takes away some of that excitement and just kind of makes you feel good. But if you just take GABA, it's not absorbed that well. You don't get that much of it in your bloodstream and that's probably why it's legal. Phenibit is essentially just GABA with a phenyl ring attached to it. And these phenyl rings help improve the absorption of the compound. So it's very, very similar to the original GABA, which is legal. It just has this added phenyl group to it. And it was also designed to lower anxiety without reducing cognitive function. So unlike a lot of the anti-anxiety drugs that we have in the US, it's actually designed to lower your anxiety, but not make you impaired at all, not make you necessarily want to sleep, although it does make you want to sleep. It seems to be more for kind of like a function anxiety aid versus something like Xanax, Valium, you know, if you take it while you're super jacked up, it might cut that off and you'll still have some of your original energy and you might be able to power through the day, but it generally is a very sedative, very tiring. And this one is too, but there is a sweet spot to where it isn't as tiring as those other compounds. And I gotta say that compared to F Phenibit, F Phenibit seems like it comes on a little bit quicker than the original Phenibit, and F Phenibit seems to be a little bit more tiring. So if you're using Phenibit to like go to sleep or for making you tired in any way, F Phenibit might be a little bit of a better option, but I actually prefer this one because I don't like the fluorine atom attached to it. And although this one isn't as drowsy, it feels a lot more natural to me versus F Phenibit. So when I got this, it came with like two of these packs and I think I went through like six to eight of them. So I've tried it for a good little bit now. Again, uh, Phenibit is something that I don't take all the time. I kind of wait for the right time when I need it. I had taken the original Phenibit just kind of for recreation in the past and I never liked it. I could not stand it. But the times that I used it for anxiety, it worked every time. So I'm like, all right, well, I'll just leave this around and take it when I have some anxiety. Sounds good to me. So. It's not something that I could take all the time, but it's something that always works when I need it to, so I always appreciate that. These pills, I think, are like 250 milligrams for one, which is a really good starter dose. That's about how much I would take. I was actually kind of like a lightweight when it comes to Phenibit. Some people take up to like over a gram, and even more than that on Reddit. I do not recommend that. 
that's kind of crazy to me. The most I'll take is 750 to 1000 milligrams, but that would only be if I accidentally overstimmed myself and I just need to go to bed. Um, normally, uh, if I was trying to function in the day, I would just take one. And if I was trying to have some good sleep, I would take two. But again, I really want to save these for actual anxiety instances so that I know it will work guaranteed. I just recently tried a research chemical benzodiazepine and I was kind of using it a little bit like Phenobit and wow, Phenobit to me is just way better than any of these benzos, benzodiazepines. Like there's a small window where these benzodiazepines work and they're great. You take it any longer than that and you're in hell. You feel terrible, you feel sick. No thanks. So Phenobit actually works very, very well for me. And it is a very unique compound in that it's supposed to increase dopamine. So some people get a little bit of an awakening effect from it. I 100% do not. Like I'll take this when I'm overstimmed and I'll take a lot and I'll go to sleep. So for me, I do not have a stimulant effect on it, but it is less drowsy versus other anti-anxiety aids. So anyways, guys, that's been my review of Phenobit from Cosmic Nootropics. And real quick on Cosmic Nootropics, they have just tons of nootropics that I've never heard of. And now that I know that they're legit, I can start dipping a toe into each one and, and hopefully I can uncover some more exotic nootropics for you guys. Have you heard of Phenobit? Have you heard of f -Phenobit? What's your kind of go-to for anti-anxiety? Do you have a natural remedy for anxiety? I'd be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. Which is a...